Hey guys, welcome to another three elimination week um, where we have to get a certain amount of points to reach the next level. Uh, yeah, let's hope it goes well this week. Uh, and we start with the 10k, which usually should not be a problem. Oh boy. What is this? Huh. Ooh, so so much uh, red roofs. Was thinking that maybe can this be Canada? It really feels like that, but with those buildings, this looks very European. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, it's already a hard one. Could it even be Argentina? Because North Well I, we don't really know where the sun is. Huh. Tough one. So if all locations are like this, uh it's bad. <laughs> it's bad if I fail this one already. Imagine failing at ten K. Oh, that would be bad. Hmm, what is this? I really have a strong Canada fear, but those buildings say no, it cannot be. So what else can it be? Can it be Mongolia or something like that? Can it be Argentina? Pff, the thing is, if I go Argentina and it's not, it's gonna be very far away from Argentina. Or like... those uh, kind of hills ah, looks very interesting kind of volcanic hmm what do I do I don't know well I probably can reach 10k anyway let's hope so I'm gonna go with Argentina oh was actually Chile Oh, that, that's near Torres del Paine. Wow, okay. Okay, southern Chile, but right next to the Argentinian border. Okay, good guess. Uh, oh, is this just the picture quality or does this look very interesting? this tree less rocks or is it because of the sun it looks so weird probably uh, lalbadu lalbadu so hmm who does there's this markings so probably either France Spain or Italy because of that Ella ap apostrophe, uh, I'm gonna go with Italy. I don't care. Oh, actually, course. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Norway. Almost has to be right. Yeah, no way. Okay. Ooh. Well, we we don't really need that many points. So I'm gonna go through that a little bit faster. Whoa. What is this? Is this Mexico? Yeah, could be. Not gonna spend more time. So I already have them. Okay. Wow. Next to the Amazon. Huh. All right. Ooh, another one of those. Um. Mountainous there. Maybe Norway. Kind of eastern Norway. I don't know. 
Okay, not on Norway. Two times Norway. How can that be? What a scam. What a scam of Norway tourism. Uh, it's Star Wars World. Oh wow, I've been here a few times in this area. And we add this one first, and then we go to Norway. So, even if I failed the first location hard, it would have been easy. No one's gonna fail get, getting 10k here. So next stage, 12 and a half K. That's the that's second kind of warm up stage. After that, it usually gets harder. Then it's, it's hard to catch up if you really fail uh, from 15 on. Ooh, Cura, Cura, So. Sounds kind of Portuguese. This could be Portugal. Very well, yeah. We have EU place, so it's definitely that. So we're gonna go Portugal. Somewhere east, because in case it's Spain. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's actually Portugal, not Spain. Wow, the border is right over here. Uh, well, not on this street, but <laughs> wow. We, we just have to look east and there's Spain. East, so over here. Ah. Over there. That's Spain. Okay, interesting one. Uh, may maybe I add them after every round. Because it might be a little bit more dull to watch if I add them all together. Next one, who? Very flat valley. Those European poles that look kind of like those in Switzerland, but then they have also those ones that have orange on the side. And as I learned, Czechia is one of those countries that has that. But this doesn't feel, it does feels a little bit flat for um, check here so I'm gonna go with Poland because they might also have those things oh actually Lithuania okay good old Lithuania not that far away from Vilnius that is that is a Baltic landscape indeed There's just so much open fields in the Baltic countries. It's like Poland has similar areas, but there you would probably see at least like some buildings or something. But in the Baltics, you all you always get that feeling like it's one of the most natural countries that are on GeoGuessr. Even though if you look, I mean, it has so many towns, so, 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 so interesting. Ooh, Vietnamese and Thailand, Shamrock, smart Indian restaurant. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I feel like I've seen this location before on a stream. A lot of flags, it's probably Europe with this architecture anyway. Oh yeah, it's this, I think, I think I've seen it, it's Paris. Yeah, Schulwand Prey, yeah, those signs I think are Paris. So we're gonna go there. Oh no, oh okay, so I might remember another location. 
was actually Brussels. First time there, in GeoGuessr. But I usually don't play city maps, so that's not surprising at all. Uh, this already feels like Canary Island or something like that. Ke Cap de Fomenter. So some kind of cape is here. And it looks like this could be the Spanish signage, so we could be on one of those. Yeah, Mallorca. Nice. Not not the canneries, but but yeah, I got that I island feeling. Huh. Ooh. This one is like one of those typical Colombia ones, but I don't know how the road lines are in Colombia anymore. I think they have at least a yellow one. So could this be Asia? Could this be Asia? Yeah, it feels like the sun could be here. Uh, ah, it's hard, I don't know. But we are in the tropics anyway, so I shouldn't pay attention to that too much. this from the soil I don't think this is Philippines because there's no redness at all not even a little bit so also probably not Cambodia so could this maybe be Malaysia or Thailand or mm. I'm gonna try that because it doesn't matter I have enough points uh -huh. it actually is Malaysia Good. I'm doing quite well so far. Pretty happy. <laughs> Let's just hope I don't fail at the harder ones. I do well on the easy ones and then fail on the 15k or something. I mean, this is already not hard already. Uh, unless it's like a super hard seed, then it, this can already kill me. Ooh, this feels like New Zealand. Oh, yeah. Red and white. Probably New Zealand. So we're gonna go there. Boom. Okay. Ooh. Oh no, are we first time to Africa, the continent that always kills me because I cannot just separate the countries from each other. Mm, beauty and beyond. Well, well, well. Modest voice school fruit mix impact out. Out! Stay out! Shakaina. Sales point. Frozen food. <laughs> good, good. Could this be Kenya? Oh, or is the soil too red? I'm not sure. Oh, it's Ghana. Good. At least we know the country, so I cannot fail at that. So Ghana, how green is it? Pff, I don't know doesn't feel coastal but also doesn't feel like it's not on Ghana so I'm gonna go with Kumasi ah, of course whatever I don't even care it's Africa it's really salty lately when I get African locations because <laughs> I have had so many bad experiences lately so I get really triggered when I see Africa Oof, I need some points oh boy Oh boy, what is this? Feels kind of like European. Maybe Croatia? Like, or something like that. That's some very specific walling here. Rarely see that. So apparently it's popular with bicycles. Oh! 
This sign looks like in my country. Are we in Switzerland? I did, and I don't recognize it because of the palms. It could be. Yeah, I mean, those people. I rarely see um, bicycle riders in GeoGuessr. And those look like the ones that I see in Switzerland. Yeah, I, this has to be Switzerland. Yeah, also this crane looks like one I see the whole time. We're gonna go southern. Yeah, it's actually this lake, yeah. Lago Maggiore. Whoa, we're almost in Italy. Holy shit. Just a bit south and we're in Italy. Interesting. Just a bit south. So over here. We're gonna yoink into Italy, but we cannot do it here because they, of course, made that not possible. Yeah, that's why there's palms. There's not many palms north of the Alps. So if you see palms and it's Switzerland, it's most likely going to be in Ticino region. Or Luzerne also has some of them, but and they can happen in all. Uh, they can be planted in other areas as well along the lakes, oftentimes. But it's rather rare north of the Alps. Hmm. 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 Swedish-looking house. Very interesting soil color. I don't remember seeing any redness in uh, in Sweden or Finland. This could also be Finland. But the red house, I mean, how can I go Finland? <laughs> so I'm going to stay here because in case it's Finland, it's still going to be. I think it's actually southern Sweden. Yeah. Southern Sweden. So we already have enough points. Ooh, this one is hard. Wow. What is this? Yellow line on the side and white one on the... Huh. Oh, we have some solar flare. You can see a bit of the soil here. It has a bit of redness in it, but it's more brown. Someone on the side of the road. What is this place? Could this be Canada? I kind of think not with these road lines. Do they have road lines like that? Then again, I have no better idea. Could it be Chile? One of those locations. It could be. But I also don't know the road line stairs. It doesn't matter. I have enough points. I'm gonna go Canada. Oh, what? Really? This is South Africa. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. I would have never thought that this is South Africa. Wow. Oh yeah, the road lines. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Wow, that looks so weird for South Africa. So cold. And so... Huh, I don't know. You earned another point. Great, thanks for that. Oh, I actually didn't pass it by extremely much, but 
All right, 16K, let's go. European looking. Susic uh, Brdo, maybe. Hmm. So looks to be a Slavic language, most likely. It feels kind of northern. Could it be Slovakia? Or what else is there? Maybe I go south. Wait, is that. Does Romania also do this signage like this? But it doesn't feel like a Romanian town name. This feels a little bit Romanian though, I have to say. Oh boy, and it's the first location and I don't want to fail on this one. Oh, we have <laughs> blue and yellow. Uh, but it's not Ukraine. Because that would not be like this. Hmm. Building style is actually not that different from the Alp building style. So let's go with Slovenia then. Let's go with here, even though here it's flatter. But if it's Slovakia or if it's even further south, like Serbia or Montenegro or something. I'm kind of in between. Okay, it's Croatia. Good, 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 good guess. Yeah, it looked a little bit warm for Slovakia. We're driving on the left, or is this just an exit? Simmons Plains. This feels like Australia, right? Or should, could it also be <clears throat> New Zealand? I think Australia, oh, I always forget. Is, they also have red and white. But it's not exactly the same, right? This feels like it, it could be both countries actually but I really got initially I really got a really strong Australia feel so I'm gonna go somewhere down here oh it's Tasmania yeah that when you feel like it can be both it often is Tasmania it's ridiculous <laughs> Also, what's the camera quality? This weird quality they have in Tasmania? No, it's actually 18 pictures. Oh wow, that's pretty. You can go right here, so it looks like we're right driving. Oh, Northern Hemisphere maybe. I mean, Southern Hemisphere. What is this? Phew. This one is hard. This could break me. Because I need to get 16, right? So if I fail at this one, I need to really do well on the other two. Oh boy. Could this be Mexico? Or is it one of those Colombia again? I ah, This looks not like a Mexican sign to me. So, I guess I'm gonna go with Colombia. Oh, actually, Ecuador. <laughs> Close to Peru, even. All right, that's not that many points. So if, like, if a location comes that is really hard, it might get interesting for the first time today. Okay, what do we have here? Feels kind of like Spanish speaking to me instantly. Southern Hemisphere most likely, so it could be Peru. But it could all this could also be Argentina, because I don't really get a typical P 
Peru feel here. And it's quite important to select the right country of the two. Because otherwise I lose points. Oh boy. This does not feel typical Peru to me. Whoa, those peaks are quite cone, coney. Whoa, looks like we're in a volcanic area. I mean, Peru and Argentina have them. What do I do? There's too many of those brushes that make me like th those small uh, growing stuff here. That makes me more think of Argentina than Peru because Peru is either very dry or not dr not so dry. And this feels like it's in between. So that makes me rather think Argentina. Where do we have the mountains actually east? Ah, damn it. So if we have so many mountains east, yeah, it still can be Argentina, but it's a little bit less likely now to be Argentina. Could this be anything else like Australia or South Africa? Wow, this location, man. I mean, I can fail it. No, I, sh I, sh I really shouldn't fail the continent though. Because then it's going to be hard. Yeah, like, then I need almost a 5k. Oh, shit. This location might break me because I didn't do too well in the locations before. So I just go southern Peru maybe and hope for the best. Maybe Colombia as well. So maybe I go here. Because even if it's not on Peru, I get a decent amount of points. And I don't think it's not on Peru. I'm going to go even further south. So I just try to cover as much area to get at least decent amount of points. Maybe this will be a bad strategy. But I need to try. Oh, good! Nice! It's actually Chile. Almost Argentina, though. That was a good strategy. I didn't think it's there, actually. So I was more hatching. And it was actually where I hatched, almost. Atacama. Wow. <laughs> Okay, very interesting. So I need, I still need 700 points. Oh, but that makes it easy. Namur. Namur. I don't know, how is it? Namur is here. Okay, good. Next, 17k. Uh, from now on it will be harder because 17k is like you can fail once but then you need to do extremely well on the others so yeah like failing continent is really hard from now on recreo campestre teo facemos platos típicos de la región Piscines, what grande, mediani, chico. Contamos con zoológico. Mm -hmm. Oh, black and white poles. Might be Peru. But it looks very green for Peru. Oh, who is that? Man, I don't play enough Chiogesser anymore to remember all that stuff. Maybe we can grab the country because we shouldn't fail at this uh, early round. It's definitely Spanish speaking, we know that. So it has to be South America or Mexico. <laughs> Are we actually sure this is not Mexico or Guatemala? 
It's not the Guatemala car. So it's not Guatemala. Are we sure this is not Mexico? Yeah, I think we are. Because that and that is not in Mexico. I'm pretty sure. So that leaves us with Ecuador, Colombia, Peru. I'm going to go southern Ecuador or northern Peru. I'm going to go at the tip here. OK, I was Peru. So actually, those black and white poles were a good clue. But I have been fooled by them once. So since then, I'm not so confident anymore that it's Peru when I see them. And especially because this one was so green and the average Peru location in GeoGas is not this green. So I was kind of careful, which cost me some points, but yeah, I hope I don't pay for that. Mm. <laughs> what is this? Holy shit. It's probably Europe. Oh, there's thaw on it here. Uh, yeah, sun is there. Europe in kind of late fall, maybe. Feels cold. It's not Switzerland, I think. Even though with this landscape, it's technically not impossible. But those trees up there seem quite weird. Switzerland so this could be France it I think though it's gonna be more Eastern Europe I could also be like this could be so many places man France even Spain is possible Italy Croatia Slovenia Slovakia, Czechia. This could be so many places, man. Because it's winter, it might actually fool us thinking it's a cold, cold climate rather. But it might not be. So I think I'm gonna do this once again that I go in Slovenia. It usually d works pretty well if the location looks similar like Switzerland. It was Italy actually, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Because Italy can look quite temperate. Oh, that was actually a repeat? Really? Yeah, that was a repeat. When did I get this? Wow, I need more points. Because this is Ulambato, right? This has to be. Let's read it. Guli Heilsch Accumulator Temer Shirem Ochish. Not really Tuchi. But yeah, that's classic Ulaanbaatar location, I think. Can we see where the main part of the city is? Probably south. So maybe not on Ulaanbaatar. Okay, nice. 
to add was some really necessary points here. How many we need? 17 ton. Wow, that's interesting to see what could be English, but maybe it has another letter there. So signage looks rather European, but <laughs> I don't know, where's the sun? <laughs> the sun is in the north. Holy. What is this place? Oh, we have red and white again, but they look different. Is this New Zealand? Like what the heck is this? No, we have signs on the right, so it's definitely not New Zealand. Could this be like Puerto Rico? Oh boy. <laughs> oh no, I should I I actually cannot fail this one because then I'm out because if I have zero points then I need 5k ha <laughs> shit forty five sign green sign there makes me think of Mexico but this Mexico I should know those posts if it's more Mexico. <sighs> but then again, it, it kind of feels like it could be. Shit. This is such a weird location. I have a feeling that this location is not the typical landscape for the country that we're in. Maybe it is. No, it can't be New Zealand. Need to forget that it's not because it's not left driving. So what can it be? Is it again one of those Colombia locations? Those mountains don't feel typical Mexico to me either. Hmm. Oh, this tree. I think I've seen those before in Colombia. So should I try that? But, oh, it also feels so European, man. What else, What could this be in Europe? If it is, like Spain? No, probably not. I mean, landscape-wise, maybe. Italy? No, I don't, I don't think Italy has double yellow line. Hmm. So do we go for Colombia? I guess we are. Could it be Asia? Could it be Asia? This tone here is really confusing. Because I kind of doubt that the, lo the language here is English. Huh. <laughs> Damn it. I think I looked at everything by now. buildings you cannot have a good look at them it looks rather simple simple building yeah I'm going with Colombia I'm gonna go somewhat north because in case it's Mexico I might get a little bit more point or oh, is it not the Guatemala car no, it's not the Guatemala car either. 
Yeah, Guatemala. Okay. Yeah, I could see that landscape wise. Oh, okay. Well, again, the same region here, Southern Ecuador. But last time it was easier. This one was holy shit. That was crazy. I only got two and a half K though, because I was hedging a lot again. Need to be careful with that hedging. So how many points do I need? I need 17 K, right? This C5. Yeah, 17 I need. Oh boy. <laughs> I need 2.6 right here on this freaking river. We're driving on the left side, really? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh no, I think it's Africa. <laughs> it kind of looks like Botswana, but I'm not sure at all, especially because it's a river. It's really... Mm. Damn it, I need two and a half K. That sucks. What if it's southern South Africa? Do I get two and a half K? Oh no! Well, we can check the sun at least. Oh yeah! Oh baby! It's southern hemisphere as fuck. I don't know who does that red sign like that. This looks like it's it's black on the sign, and I have seen that before, but I cannot remember where. Can we see if people are actually black here? We can't. But this building looks very simple. I think we're in Africa, definitely. Because we're driving on the left, so it's not South America, right? And it's not New Zealand, that's clear. And it's also not Australia. Because... This building here, those buildings, no, they are too simple buildings for Australia. Plus, apparently, we're burning everything, so uh, yeah, that's rather typical, I guess, for third world country or developing countries. Um, can I be sure it's not Senegal? Oh shit. Not at all. I'm not sure. It's, it could be Senegal. Do we have some solar flare? No, we don't. Ah, Senegal has a lot of those solar flares, but I'm not sure if they have it everywhere. Probably not. So it's not green enough for Kenya. Uh, Kenya is also possible, to be honest, but it's rather unlikely. It's not green enough for Kampala. It's not green enough for Lagos. It's probably not green enough for Ghana, but it could be Senegal or Botswana or South Africa or even Swaziland. Probably not Lesotho. So, do I stay here? Whew, shit. Oh man. Do I stay on the border? What if it's over here? Do I get two and a half K? Hmm. I know this part is very deserty, so it's definitely not gonna be here. So it's either Botswana or here or here or here. Probably one of those four possibilities or Swaziland, but yeah. So I think I'm pretty well set for everything except not on Botswana. I'm not sure if I get two and a half K for that, but I have to risk it here. And I'm not set for Southern 
um, South Africa, maybe. Like it's about the same distance. Maybe, maybe I go a tiny bit into South Africa. Ah, I don't know. Ah, damn it. We don't even see the road lines because there's none. No, let's stay in Botswana. Let's pray. Yes. Wow, it was not on, but it was enough points. Wow. Holy. So I even got 18k points. Ah, it's this uh, kind of lake area, even though the lakes are not really there anymore. Uh, all right. That was 17k. Let's do 18k. <laughs> now it gets really hard, unless it's an easy seat. Well, this looks like an easy start. Maybe not as easy as I thought. But it's definitely Europe. And from this building, I'm thinking either Belgium, Netherlands, Northern France, Denmark or Germany. And this looks like it's a Danish sign. So we're going to go Denmark. That is a good guess. Wait, what? Someone got 5k. You motherfucker. How do you get 5k? Well, I guess... I guess because of that sign. But is it readable? It's not really readable. So I guess this is someone who played the round differently. Or he knows this place. Because there's no really... A, not really a hot clue here. All right, Denmark. First time Denmark today. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this feels like Curaçao, but I'm not sure, obviously. But oh, I looked at Curaçao and it looked exactly like this. Where exactly is Curaçao? Uh, it's here. So that is tropics, so we cannot look at the sun. I really feel that it is, this is Curaçao. Please, one time I remember one place. But it's also so many buildings that you don't see eno enough of the landscape. Oh boy, this could also be other islands. It looks like this is a Kona car. Maybe Puerto Rico? I don't know, but... I'm not sure if they have so many colored houses in Puerto Rico. They sure do not have that in Hawaii, I think. So I think it's either Curaçao, Puerto Rico, Hawaii. Uh, maybe Samoa, one of that crap again. So, yes, baby, Curaçao. Yes. Oh, on this round, some people might drop out because if you don't know this is Curaçao, you're fucked. I mean, if you go Puerto Rico, it's still decent, but everything else is kind of bad. All other guesses are not so good. Except if you go Colombia or like Mexico. But why would you go in this area? So I'm very happy about that. I When Curaçao came out on Street View. That was not long ago. Maybe a year. I'm happy that I checked it out. It's It looks quite specific for an island. So... Oh, in Bangladesh. There's a lot of 
lot of Latin letters for Bangladesh if this is Bangladesh, but mm, could this be India? One of the covered towns. <laughs> nice. Telane. Tel? Ane. What could Ane mean? It's not Sri Lanka, right? Because the letters. Can we see some woman? Oh, yeah, Muslim. Muslim. Good. Good. So then it probably is. Oh, yeah, this guy as well. Uh, so then it probably is Bangladesh, right? Toilet. <laughs> what? Is this like Dhaka or a main main city there? So I need every point that I can get because it's just round three, and even though I have been doing well, so I guess I'm gonna go Dakar. Why not? Not Dakar, Dhaka. I always confuse the two. What the fuck? Uh, where else could it be? Because this is a major town. So maybe it's further south. I don't think it's further north. So I'm gonna go southern Dhaka. Maybe I'm gonna go towards the river. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> fine, whatever. So this challenge so far has been extremely easy considering it's 18k but we still have two locations but I only need 3k so I can fail one pretty hard and this not gonna be what I fail because this is Greece well very pretty nice trees to be honest so we are gonna go Greece all right well wow, that was a Athens really in the city even what the fuck this looks like countryside it's a park it's a huge park in Athens wow that's interesting we can really navigate out of here or not we should be because oh wait are we driving in the circle no oh there was a big city let's see And now, how to get out? Are we out? No, we're still in the park, so we cannot get out here. There might be clues. I mean, we know it's Greece. There was more than one clue. The prison of Socrates. Huh. Okay. Good. I already have my points, so... Oh, and now we get a US, now that I don't need points. What the fudge? Uh, but this is not so easy, US, because this can be quite a few places. Mm. Could be kind of Midwest, but it could also be more West than we want to think. This could also be like Idaho or something, even though it doesn't seem like it. Or, oh, this could also be like West Coast-ish, like Oregon or Washington, one of those freaking locations. Huh. It could also, yeah, it's, it's either that or, or like Midwest. Blue and yellow. Nice color.
those trees they are quite common in Michigan I think but they are also common in the Northwest so where do I go I'm gonna go Michigan whatever or like maybe south of it cuz oh was actually Canada but the Michigan guess was very good landscape wise Holy shit, that was a sick score. Oh, it was outside of London here. So I got 23 on a diverse world, no movement. I think that's probably my highest ever. So this guy played with moving, I guess, very likely. Geography man got 24k. 90 also. But then I'm, I don't know this guy. Then I'm kind of in the third of the known people. Alright, that was this one, right? J5. Now it gets really, really tough. Because it's just a matter of when am I, am I gonna fail the continent? Ooh, this feels like Canada. Eastern Canada, probably, feel quite certain about that, <laughs> what if it's Western Canada, I'm totally fucked, but this, this should not be it, right, man, this feels very northern, holy, so we're gonna go New Brunswick, because why not, okay, Newfoundland, all right great we actually need every point now so i should actually be i mean yeah new brunswick is still okay because it's still kind of close to everything there so it was an okay guess oh boy oh okay israel but would be nice to know where where <laughs> I have no idea. Could be anywhere in except like the desert and it's probably feels quite Mediterranean so it's probably at least decently close from the coast so we're gonna go I'm just gonna go here because Tel Aviv is right in the middle oh actually wow not so far away from the coast Oh, Efrat dies here. Okay. <clears throat> so. Even though I get decent points. Oh, yeah, I got, I got quite a lot of uh, On this round, not on the last one, though. Oh, no. <laughs> Cafe restaurant. Dona Rita. Feels kind of like Argentina. <laughs> but I'm not sure. But there's not much to see. So I'm gonna go with Argentina. So the E has, I think, a thing on the top. Maybe. Probably, yeah. Gonna go Argentina. How far south do I go? It's pretty dry. So I'm gonna go for Neoken. No, not Mexico. Why? Why is Mexico killing me? No, don't do this. I didn't even consider Mexico, really. Holy, what? Freaking Chihuahua. Hmm. 
Yeah, the roads actually make a lot of sense because they this two lane, two lane, that's like very common in the US and I guess Mexico also has that quite a few times. Why did I not consider Mexico? Partly because of the sun. Because the northern Mexico is still, is still the tropics? Really? I thought not. But okay. Whatever. <laughs> Shit. Can I still make it? Wait, I need... I need uh, 19. Chill. Okay. Oh no, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Shit. <laughs> Alright. Whatever. I don't care. This location looks boring. I'm gonna stop right here. So I got 18k. How much did I get last week? Did I get 18k as well? <laughs> yeah, also 18k. So the same like last week. I failed at the 19. No. Nighty even got the 24k. Mm. He needed 4950 in the last round. Whoa. 19. 12 and a half. He also failed at the 19 rounds. He made the 19 round, 12, wow. A lot of people dropped out in the 12th round. So what was the 15 round then? What, what was that again? Ah, oh, the weird South Africa one. Yeah, that. but Ghana was clear, New Zealand was clear, or maybe at least Australia, Switzerland, yeah. Anyway, so that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.